to the Burgess Life channel. Thank you for stopping by and I hope you're good. Um, it's March now, which is pretty crazy because I think this year has gone so, so fast. Uh, you wouldn't think it's March looking outside. It is currently snowing and the beast from the east has been making mine and everyone else's life hell for the past week. Uh, so I've had a face like a smacked behind. I'm slightly happier now because one, it is the weekend and two, it is the Oscars tomorrow night. So I wanted to have a little bit of a chat just about the Oscars, not necessarily my predictions, but maybe just like, I don't know, just a bit about the films that I have enjoyed and who I would like to see win awards, I suppose. We'll start with the big one, Best Picture. I have finally seen all nine of the films. So you've got The Post, Phantom Thread, Dunkirk, Darkest Hour, Call Me By Your Name, Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, Lady Bird, Get Out, and The Shape of Water. Did I get them all? I think that's right. But yeah, they were all fantastic films. For me personally, uh, I've been thinking about it a lot over the past few days. My favourite was probably either Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri or Call Me By Your Name. Uh, Call Me By Your Name was the final one that I got to see. I missed it the first time it was released, um, but the Tyneside Cinema in Newcastle was showing them all again throughout the past week in the lead up to the Oscars tomorrow night. And uh, so I finally got to go and see it and it just blew me away. Timothy Chalamet and Army Hammer were absolutely just stunning in it. It's a beautiful film. And if you haven't seen it, I do recommend you watch it. Um, I'm definitely gonna read the book as well because a few people have recommended it to me. And yeah, it was just, it was so good. I cried like a baby. Those final three scenes just, oh, not without giving anything away, it just broke me. Um, and especially with the soundtrack as well, it was just absolutely gorgeous. Lady Bird, um, I was very lucky to see that when I was in America. Greta Gerwig, I would love to see get the Best Director Award because it is just phenomenal. I think it would be great to see Saoirse Ronan get the best actress, but Frances McDormand in Three Billboards was just outstanding. So I do think she might get it, um, but either or. But then Sally Hawkins in The Shape of Water, you know, it's just been, the films have been so fantastic, but this is why I think it's hard because I would not be able to choose um, because they're all brilliant in their own way. Best actor, I'd love to see it go to Daniel Kaluuya because Get Out was just amazing and he is so good. I was so glad that he won the Rising Star Award at the BAFTAs this year. Um, and it's just, I just saw him in Black Panther recently as well. I've seen it three times, obviously, it's me. But yeah, I think he's gonna just go on, like now especially, he's just gonna like whoosh, fly. Like I keep forgetting he was in Skins and that's pretty much how he started out and I just think that's mad looking back on it. But yeah, he's done so well and I would love to see him get Best Actor. Uh, or Timothy Chalamet. Um, Daniel Day-Lewis was great. Gary Oldman was great. I didn't see Denzel Washington's film. But, you know, it would be nice to see it go to one of the younger guys this year. I know it wasn't nominated for Best Picture, but I absolutely loved I, Tonya. Not just because of Sebastian Stan, which is, I know what people will be saying. I am not biased. I'm a little bit biased. But Alison Janney was superb as a mom. Um, so I really would love to see her get the Support and Actress Award this weekend. I think Sam Rockwell should definitely get the Oscar, although Richard Jenkins in Shape of Water was also phenomenal. Uh, that is the best Support and Actor role. I feel like I've just loved everything so much. Like, I might set on my own awards. So, like, the Burgess Life Award for Best Film would go to... Nah, nah it's too hard. But yeah, let us know in the comments what has been your favourite film that you've seen out of the categories this year, who you think should win, who you would like to see win. Um, tell us what films I should be watching. I'm always looking for recommendations of new ones to watch and old films because I'm quite bad at having not seen a lot of like classic films. I only watched Titanic for the first time last year. I know, sorry. But uh, yeah, let us know in the comments. Thank you as always for stopping by. If you like the vlog, please give it a big thumbs up. It is always appreciated and I shall see you next time.